Coming off two wins at O'Brien Field, Eastern Illinois was in Martin, Tennessee last Saturday for their first road test in OVC play. UT Martin returned the opening kick for a touchdown, and EIU had their backs to the wall right off the bat, but responded with a 14-play drive for a touchdown. Cameron Barra missed the extra point, the second miscue on special teams in the first four minutes of the game. Turnovers also hurt the Panthers. The Skyhawks took advantage of three first-quarter turnovers by EIU and took a 21-6 lead into the second quarter. The second quarter would go better for EIU, putting together touchdown drives of 61 and 95 yards. EIU was within 21 to 19 and UT Martin returns the extra point attempt for two. UT Martin scored another touchdown with two minutes remaining in the first half. EIU put together a 12 play drive that resulted in a crash at the goal line. Jimmy Garoppolo would walk away from the hit. UT Martin recovered the ball and took a 30 to 19 lead into the second half. The Skyhawks dominated the third quarter, outscoring EIU 14-3 and would go on to win 51-37. Turnovers and special teams were the difference in the game and uh, you hate to lose a game like that because there's, there's so much good and then you don't have that good feeling that you won the game afterwards because uh, the bad in the kicking game and the, uh, and the turnover department. Coach Babers came up to us before a game. They have a real good special teams unit and they said, the difference of this game will be special teams. And it was, you know. Offense, we moved the ball. Sometimes we couldn't score. Defense held their own. And, uh, you know, special teams, we hurt a little bit, but we we'll bounce back. In the loss, EIU put up more video game-like numbers. 38 first downs, over 600 yards of offense. Wide receiver Eric Lohr continued his outstanding 2012 season with over 200 yards receiving for the second time this season. In the loss, Laura knows that the Panthers can play a lot better the next time they take the field. This is a tough loss because we went 2-0 against OVC Conference uh, teams, and uh, we really wanted to come out, go 3-0, and have a big week against Jacksonville State coming in with a 3-0 uh, record. But you know what? You know Jacksonville State was going to be there next week anyways. We can't change our perspective on the OVC. We're going to come out hot, and we're going to score some points and stop Jacksonville State. And later today, EIU hits the home turf at O'Brien Field. OVC rival Jacksonville State comes to Charleston. The Gamecocks and the Panthers are two of five teams currently at 2-1 and one in the OVC. key to getting to November is playing well in October. You've got to hold court in October, and you've got to keep your team focused. And uh, last week, I think we lost our focus a little bit. I really do. And we need to refocus and get back on point on what's important, you know, being good in the kicking game, not turning the ball over, performing well, or the way you're capable of performing on offense and defense. You know, if we can go undefeated at home and pick up a few couple road wins that we have left in the season, it's going to put us in a great spot as far as making the playoffs, winning the OVC, and that's something that this team hasn't done in a, two years. So that's something that's very important to us right now. EIU and JSU are meeting for the 10th time overall. The Gamecocks have won the last two meetings against the Panthers. EIU has lost their last two times against JSU at O'Brien Field. EIU will look to go 4-0 at home this season. Panthers have scored 49 points or more in their first three games at home this season. Kickoff is set for 1.30 today in Charleston. Reporting on the Eastern Illinois Panthers for Inside the Illini, I'm Ryan Snodgrass of WEIU-TV.